Alright, yo, what's going on, everybody? So today, as you can see, we are back on the camera for you guys today. Uh, I have worked in an hour and a half, so I'm going to try to make this video as fast as I can. But we're going to be reacting to the new Xbox Series X. Uh, I've seen it, but I want to give my little opinion on it. So, uh, so yeah, let's just get straight into the video, guys. Let's go. Alright, so we got the little Xbox trailer right here. Ooh, and it's in 4K too, by the way. I'm watching it in 4K. Ooh, it's crispy, boys. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. Motivational. And that you could have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Ooh. God damn, it's cool visuals. I like it. I like the visual effects that they're doing in the video. It's cool. Naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, fulfill all your wishes. Ooh, cactuses in a desert. But now let's um. Ooh, I like that animation. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Whoa, that's cool. I like the animation. It's really cool. Oh snap! Is that a co- Whoa! Oh snap! Ooh, the graphics though. It's freaking late, yo. Halo. That's Halo. Finally, you would dream. Ooh. What a- Ooh, that's freaking dope, yo! Oh snap! Oh, there's new Xbox, boys. Okay, uh, ooh, okay. It has a little button above the disc. That's, uh, I'm assuming that's like the air ventilation right there. And the controller. That looks pretty dope. Xbox Series X. Oh, snap, boys! Power your dreams. Oh, that's kind of pog. Holiday 20. Oh, so it comes out next year. Like around December 2020. All right, guys. Let me get. Let me give my opinion on this a little bit. So let's just go back to where it actually shows the Xbox. So we're gonna go right here. As you can see, it has a USB outlet, and it has a button up here. Uh, what I'm assuming this is probably like. Oh, I wonder what this is. I actually don't know what, the, what this is. If you guys do know what this little button is right here, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm here. Let me see. I'm assuming it has two USB outlets because it just shows one. So I would only have one. So it probably has two USB outlets in the front. It has a disc space right here, which is pretty cool. It has the Xbox logo, guys. To me, this looks like and like this looks like a, a PC. You can see right here, it's tall, it's big. It looks like a, a PC. And I've heard like stuff ab about like people saying that this game could run in like a hundred or this console can run in 120 FPS games, which is pretty sick. Uh, but we just have to find out the price because if it's if this if this can run run like 120 FPS in some games, that would be a really good deal if it was like pretty cheap. But if it's if this thing costs like nine hundred bucks or something like that, then you might as well get like a PC or something like that, because that can even go even, because that can do even better than an Xbox. You guys know what I'm saying? Uh, but y'all, this video is really cool. You can see the graphics right here. Here, let me mute it real quick. Like all these graphics, I think they're really sick. X Xbox did a really good job on that. Oh snap, dude, that that's clean. I, that's probably like Forza or something. Oh, the new Forza, dude. Oh my god, yeah, I know. But these visuals look really cool in the video. This is Halo themed right here, so he's sitting on a ledge. Dude, that's that's an amazing shot right there. That's pretty pog champ, if you ask me. Got the little sun right here, got the little bridge. And obviously on top, you can see this is probably where it takes out the heat from the Xbox. This is probably the fan so it doesn't like overheat, which is actually a pretty good idea. You put it on top so it just blows out air so it doesn't overheat the Xbox. The logo's in the top left, which looks pretty sick, and the controller. And I did read an article saying that the old Xbox One X controllers will um, support this. So you can actually put your old Xbox One X uh, controller into this one and it'll still work. But you can see there is there is actually two uh, USB outlets right under the controller right here. If you go back a little bit, yeah, I think they're... Wait, is that only one or two? I'm only seeing one outlet, dude. Is there only one outlet in the front? Why would there only be one? Oh, that kind of surprised me. I thought there would be like two in front because wouldn't... Isn't that like... That wouldn't really be like what if you're trying to connect like a microphone and like your controller you're trying to charge your controller or something like that i don't know one it seems a little bit weird to me guys but overall i think it looks pretty cool a lot of people don't really like to look at that i actually think it looks pretty cool it looks like a pc i like where the disc holder is too this button's probably to actually attract the disc and stuff like that but i'm still wondering what that button is above the usb port let me know what you guys think of what that button is but overall, that's basically my review on it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry this video is a little rushed. Um, I have to go to work in like an hour and a half. 
So, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on that post notification bell. I gotta edit this video. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you next one. Like and subscribe. Peace out, everybody.